Hi, I'm Kim Gelman, ArtisticSensations.com. Today we're talking about capturing our inner girliness. So in my house, we have all boys. I have two young boys that are 11 and 13, and I also have a husband, and I also have two male dogs. So I am outnumbered. So I've created this space in my house, and this is my inner girl sanctuary. Pink is my favorite color, so I picked pink, as you can see. Uh, pink and white zebra sheets and I come in here and I read a book or just have time to myself away from TV which generally has sports on it or meditate or just relax and I wanted to capture the essence of me and there's a couple pictures as you can see on the wall that are um, of a girl having walking her dog which I love to do and traveling on a scooter which I love to travel and also um, shopping, which I love to do. So these are three things that uh, are generally female dominated, not necessarily the walking, but the shopping and uh, going around on a scooter. And then uh, a couple other things that I have in my room. I love uh, furry fabrics. So as you can see, I have a uh, furry phone with some stones on it. That's like a throwback to the olden days of um, an old time phone that uh, where you dial with your finger and a furry, black uh, frame with some pink pom-poms on it, which I love, and then a furry uh, lamp. So this is my inner girly room, and I think it's very important to not lose yourself, which we sometimes do when we have children and we're running around and going to all the sports and working, and I made the comment to um, Jen Wright of Looking Glass Lane that I got so caught up in running a business and raising children that I lost the inner me. So I think it's very important to continue to remind ourselves of who we are and who we once were and to capture the inner girliness in our inner child. Thanks so much.